how you can find the weighted and raw score this lecture is especially important for the teachers because uh, because the teachers uh, need to find the weighted score mostly because uh, if they want to assign the specific importance to one of the assessment or one of the um, uh, or one of uh, one of the test type they need to calculate the grades or scores based on the weights so here um, uh, what is the need of uh, weighted uh, score calculation uh, if the teacher wants to uh, give importance to the homeworks less as compared to the final or projects then the teacher needs to assign percentages to each type of assessment so that they can easily evaluate the performance of the students accordingly so here we have the data i have already maintained the data uh, the uh, the column a is of the students these are, i i have taken the five students the column b and c shows the homework scores and d and e shows the quizzes scores f and g shows the mid scores h is for project score and uh, i is for final score and the and this row is representing the the total scores out of which the students are obtaining the marks so uh, uh, so uh, what we have to do first is i have written here uh, in the column j as homework percentage why i have written it here you will not uh, you, you will came across multiple videos over the uh, youtube about the uh, weighted score calculation but they will they are just dealing with only one homework rather than two or three homeworks so when you are given with the uh, with one assessment with um, it's a it's the one homework is one assessment type and but its frequency is two that is two there are two homeworks then in such a case how you can find the weighted score for that purpose today i'm going to tell you here first thing and uh, another important thing is these are the weights what it is showing it is showing that homework is assigning um, is assigning that 10 percent of the final grade grade quizzes is assigned is has been assigned with 10 percent of the final grade same is for mid exams project and final now on the basis of these weights i have to calculate the weighted score so let's see how you can do it first of all i am going to find the percentage of the homework why because i have uh, two homeworks of one student in this row so if you have one homework of, of the same student then you can directly multi uh, multiply with the weights but here as we have two homeworks of one student what we have to do is we have to find the percentage here so how i can find the percentage here i will apply the formula i will uh, i have written equal sign then i'll select these two homeworks because they are same assessment type and we have to find their percentage and then we have to take their sum for percentages we have to take the sum and then we have to divide their sum with the sum of their total score that is the total score that is basically assigned to homework one and homework two for every student from which we are basically grading so what i have done uh, i found the percentage of the two homeworks so in order to convert it into percentage i have to take change its format to percentage and i want to keep two decimal places so i'll go with it so it is 95.00 percent now if i uh, uh, apply it to the rest of the cell by clicking this plus sign dub double what it will be then it will show an error why if i click on this cell and go to the formula bar i can see that that it is being divided by a cell that is empty it will give you an error so what you have to do is you have to apply or you have to modify the formula of the first cell in which we have calculated the uh, the percentage first so that it can be applied to the rest of the cells easily so i'll go back to the first cell and what i will do is i will write dollar sign here and same dollar sign here now this dollar sign will make the formula correct in the rest of the cells but we uh, we don't need this value so i'll write uh, delete it so now now you can see if you i click on the formula bar it is selecting the right values same is for this if i click for this uh, formula bar it is selecting the right values so you need to put the dollar sign in this way to find the correct values then same is for the quiz we have two quizzes again we have to find the percentage as sum 
of both the quizzes divided by the sum of the, the total number just the same method as you find it normal percentage again you have to put the dollar sign here so that you can apply this formula on rest of the cell so if i press enter and then if i click double click on it i will get like this and what i have to do i have to change their cell type by format cell to percentage to get the percentage so again i am deleting this because i don't need this value then again for the mid i will apply the formula equals to sum as we have two mid values so i will add them together and divide by the sum of total number that is these total numbers again we have to put the dollar sign here for applying the formula to the rest of the cells i will also change its cell type to percentage like this and now if i double click here i can easily find the percentage now we have the project now as you know that it's a single value we don't have the two projects so i can easily find its uh, percentage directly as equals to this project slash i don't need not to sum the two values divided by total so here again i have to put the dollar sign and enter and i have to change its type to percentage so i will again can apply to the rest of the, as well similarly for the final it's it's again the same formula that is for percentage and i will put dollar sign here and enter and i will change its type to percentage and okay so this is how you can find their percentages now the most important thing is weighted score for weighted score we need these weights so weighted score basically how we can calculate i'll give, tell you the formula weighted in weighted score we now we what we have to use is we have to use only these percentages if i highlight them as green so now we need not to use the rest of the data as we have find found the percentage now we have to find the we have to what we have to do we have to write the equality sign we have to add them all together by multiplying them with their respective weights how first i will write this one and we have to add them as well we have to take the sum of all of these because we are finding the final score so we have to add all the assessment um, percentages so sum is very important to write here sum of j5 that is the homework percentage steric with the homework weight that is here l1 then the next number will be the quiz percentage steric the quiz weight here then mid percentage steric and the mid exams weight here comma then the project percentage steric the project weight that is mentioned here then the final percentage steric the final weight that is mentioned here so these weights are according to your according to the teacher what uh, or according to uh, the um, the instructions given to the teacher that what importance that teacher is trying to give to each assessment type so it is not hard and fast rule that homework should be 10% quizzes should be 10% it's all depends on one's own choice so we have to close it like this so here again we have to change the cell type to percentage and this is the percentage that we will get and one thing here we have to modify the formula in a way so that we can apply it to the rest of the cell such a case we have to put the dollar sign here dollar sign here the dollar sign here the dollar sign here so that they can easily select the corresponding weights automatically for the rest of the cells as well as this data is very small but if you have the large data it is impossible for you to find for each and every cell so that if you put the dollar sign it becomes easier for you to apply the formula to all the values below it so if i double click on this plus sign i will get the weighted score so this is the required weighted score based on the importance given by the teacher to each of the assessment type so this is the weighted score now what is raw score how it differs so the easiest way is raw score is just simply you have to add up the um, uh, add up the uh, numbers of all the assessments or the marks obtained in all the assessments and divide them with the total marks of those assessments. so here we are not giving we are not multiplying the marks or percentages with the weights 
so that is the raw score so this is how it, it is differentiated let's see how you can find the raw score raw score is is just simple you have to find the sum of all the sum of all the uh, assessments and divide it with the sum of their maximum mark these are the maximum marks and what we have to do we have to apply a dollar sign here so that we can apply it to the rest of the cells and if i press enter this will be the form let's change it to percentage and we have got this percentage and if i double click it on it i will get this percentage so this is how you can calculate the raw and weighted score raw score in raw score we there is no specific importance given to the uh, to each type of assessment or each type of uh, tests or exams uh, while in weighted score teacher or any instructor can easily give uh, the percentage to each type so that he can e easily evaluate that how the students are performing in each type of um, assessment so uh, that's all from today's lecture thank you